things in my time fishing. This is boat launching broom style. We've got a nine metre tide today. So what we've done, we've actually backed the boat down with the tractor, but we didn't want to get the tractor bogged. We've just dumped it on the mud. Now we're waiting for the tide to come in to launch us. How cool is that? Beauty. Here comes a nice one. Here comes a nice one now, mate. It's about to hit us. We're floating. Up it goes. Here he comes. Oh, there he is. See him? Wow. Tell Mummy what you saw. A Lucky boy. We're only one kilometre from Eco Beach. We've already seen a beautiful manta ray. How pretty was that thing? And now we're trolling. And what Curtis suggests is we put some big deep diving Yozuris on and some also some surface baits and basically troll along till we find fish. Once we find the fish, hopefully they'll stay around the boat and then we can throw all sorts of lures at them and have a fantastic day. Tell you what, it is only very early, but I'm already having a great day. The world is changing at a very fast pace, and when I talk about fast, I'm talking about computers. We've got iPods, iFish, iEverything, and we've got Facebook. Now, one of my friends on Facebook, and if you want to become my friend, go to iFish with Tackle World. One of my friends, Luke Secluder, sent me this beautiful lure. He dropped it into my shop. He said, Paul, take it somewhere special and catch a fish. Well, Luke, I'm at Eco Beach, and I'm going to give it a run for you. What I've done, I've just seen the fish go under the boat, so I've just dropped the jig down on them. And this is the beauty of a metal jig. You can drop it, you can jig it, you can do what you want. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a jig and see if I can't... Ex oh, yes! Go, Christy! Oh! Oh! Keep whining, Christy! Oh, Christy, look at the size of that thing on there! <laughs> look at this! What is it? What is it? I don't know. Yet. It's big and it's long. And I'm a little bit scared. What is it? It's doing nothing. Just keep whining slowly. Is it a ray? Hang on. It's, it's a cobia. There's another one with him. Oh, there's another one with him. Yep, There's another cob. I'm going to wind this Daddy, up. Daddy, come over here, mate. Christy, this thing could go up its tree. Look at the size of that cob. He did when I first saw it. Oh, look at the look fish. Look at the GT or Queenie yeah. under him. Queenie. Oh, look at the fish. Oh. There's another <laughs> cob there. Just hold him in the water, Dale. I got him. This is a really good thing to do. Just hold that fish in the water and he'll hold all the other fish here. And he has nailed that lure, hasn't he, Dale? He has. Oh, that's wrong. He's, he's a, a big, big fish. Look at him, he's beautiful. This is a really good tip for anglers. Hold a fish in the water and it might give you a part of the chance to catch another fish. So I'm just going to quickly jig this thing up. That's if you Oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> oh, I hit it right at a boat. That looked like a big Mackie or a GT. Try again. And we'll just keep that fish in the water. Now, Christy, he hasn't done a lot, so just be careful. He could do the big bolt. Yeah, I've got him right. Oh, look at the queen! Oh, <laughs> see him, Jenny? See him? Did you see him? Oh, where did he go? Here, they'll come okay, back they're going to come watch, back again. Watch Daddy's lure. So there is no rush whatsoever to get this fish in the boat because he's going to hold the rest of the fish here. Can you see the cobia? I, I can't see. I can't see his pile. There you are. There he is. Okay, Daddy will put his lure away. He's going to keep persisting with Luke's lure because I want to catch a fish on your lure, mate. It had a hit. I just wasn't good enough to hook it. Now, Christy, have you ever caught a cobia? My first cobia. Woo! -hoo! Okay, you be careful. Okay, he's got the hooks in him, Jet, so you've got to be very careful. Oh. Okay, now he's not happy. Where did he go? He's gone down the bottom. Now, this fish hasn't fought at all. Swum to the surface, did nothing. His mate was with him. Uh, but he got a bit excited then, didn't he? Yeah, got very excited then. Ah! <laughs> now he's stretching you. <laughs> and this, uh, is a great butt to have it. Well, chop. No, he's still there. He's right he's on. He's going under the boat. You're right. Take your time. He'll pop out. Hang on. Here he is. Look, there he is. Okay, I'm bringing him back. Oh, look! Look at the fish under him. Look at the size of those things. Oh my gosh! What are they? Hang on, I'll let him go down a bit. What are they? Could be no. They look like massive cooter. Now bring him up. They look like big barracuda. I reckon. I want him. I'm okay. Pushing. I want him to in the fish tank. Okay. I sort of. Well, I think at the moment he's got me, hasn't he, Jeff? Yes, please. Um, Next coming into your right. Thank you, my friend. 
Oh, it's a jumping cobia. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, if you want to see how the professionals do it, don't watch this show. But if you want to see a lot of fun, it's all right. I'm going to get this cove in the boat. We're going to show you a beautiful black kingfish. And let me say, Eco Beach, first trial, black kingfish. Well done, darling. Thank you. What do you think of that, Jetty? Good. Yay! We have got a massive bait ball out the front here. You probably can't see it too well. But the fish just busted up everywhere. That cove went back in the water very first cast. This got absolutely smashed. And Christy, I'm falling in love with this place very, very quickly. Now, you know how some parents, they say that they let the kids watch too much TV and they use the TV as a babysitter? We're currently using a packet of Lifesavers because Jet, he's getting a bit hungry. We had to wait a while for that tide. So, Mum and Dad were pretty keen to catch a fish. Yeah, he's got the lifesavers. I reckon he's happy for another 15 minutes. Excuse me. Then we're in some serious trouble. <laughs> Keep your rod tip up, Christy. Oh, hey. oh, oh, oh. Did you say that? <laughs> that was insane. Oh, my gosh, what's going on? Just watch yourself. He's going to go hard here. Oh, hold now, Christy. on, hold on. Christy, yeah. yes, like that. Oh. <laughs> Just explain. Just explain what happened there, because Rob was getting a shot of Jetty. OK, well, I was winding in as quick as I could, and the boys said, lift your rod tip a bit more. So I did, and as I did, it got engulfed by this. Awesome. Look at him go! There is so many scales in the water from them smashing up that bait ball. How cool was that, Dale? Oh, that was so wicked. <laughs> This spot is insane. I just love how close to the land we are. It's, listen to that reel. We've got actually... jet out here. If anything, sort of if the weather turns, we're not too far from land, so we can just go back in quickly. I don't think Paul will be too keen to go back in. <laughs> Whatever keeps you and my boy happy, Dale. <laughs> now, I sued you too, because I gave you the uh, 20 pound fins yeah. <laughs> and the light outfit. I'm just slowly working on this. I have no idea what it is, but I chucked, I chucked your lure in, Luke, into that bait ball, two wines, and she bang. How good is it when you see the fish eat the lure, Dale? Oh, that, that is up there with... Oh, popper fishing is just sensational for the visual effect. Just seeing them come out and slam the, the lure is awesome. Now, I can see my fish yeah, coming Yeah, I can out see here. yours. You go under. Thank you, darling. Now, what have we got here in the water, Rob? Have we got a massive queenie? I think we might have. That's a GT. Oh! Oh, you bugger. What have you got? I th think I've got a queenie. Look at that. A beautiful golden trevally. Oh, there's more fish boiling over there. I've got to get this one in first. Now, one good thing about golden trevally, they've got this massive blubber lips. You can just pick them up. Christy, you just keep working away yeah. there. Thanks. And you can hold them beautifully for the camera. Jenny, look at this one. What is it? It's a golden trevally. Awesome. Well, that's a lure that my good friend, well, my brand new best friend on Facebook, Luke Secluder. There you go, mate. Your lures catch pretty cool fish. Well, time for you to go back, Mr. Golden Trevally. And if I just put you there, this is the beauty of using a single hook. He's just. I want to feed him. Jet wants to feed him. We'll feed him another lure, okay, mate? And that is a pretty, pretty fish. I'm going to watch out for his tail scoots down there. I'll just put him back this way. Watch him swim away, Jetty. Up oh, and away she goes. One golden trevally down, Dale. Hey, now you can grab my queenie that I've hooked beautifully. In the back. In the back. I'll just assume the position again then. Bring it over. Thank you, Dale. How's the way it hit this lure? Oh, I'm ready to go again. Are you now? <laughs> Woohoo! Queen fish. Look at the colour of these things. And that is a Yozuri slider, a 120. One of my favourite little surface lures. These fish are just busting up on that bait ball. I'm going to get this fish back ASAP because that bait ball is massive and we want to catch some more fish. So I'll just pull that out with my pliers, which are on the seat there, Dale, if you can pass them. He's come through and hit this so hard. What he would have done is jumped at some stage. And when he jumps, the hooks fall out of his mouth, grab him in the side, but all good. I'll give him a swim, darling. I'd let you have a look at him, but I just, I just can't get you from there. That's all right. Now, swim this fish. Oh, 
I love the way these fish are green too, like the environment. And I'll just straight down and away he goes. See you, mate. Nico Beach. I've got a confession to make. Dad, Dad, what are you saying goodbye to? I was saying goodbye to the queen fish. Why? Because he said, see you, Jet, love you. Oh, which fish you say goodbye? The queen fish. The confession is, Jet's on his third bag of lifesavers. Oh, just for a change of plan and to make it easy with kids. And let me just say, when you go fishing with kids in the family, it is all about, there you go, Jetty, we can see you now. Oh, come here, that's it, we can see you now. When you go with kids and family, it is not about catching fish, it's about doing the right thing by the family and making sure that your kids and the good old missus are having a good time and having some fun. So what Kurt suggested, because we just got... Oh, you really? Okay, ready? Go! Good boy! What Kurt suggested was that we actually anchor up, and you'll see it's much calmer now for Jet. He's having a ball. Now, are you going to help Daddy wind? Wind? Good boy! What have we got here, mate? Oh, there's fish with him, Christy. Come bring your jig over here. Look at the size of these things. Can you see them? There's my golden trevally. And there's another beautiful golden under it. I'd love to catch that second fish. What I might get you to do is pass me a lure, Curtis. That's going to do the job. That'll do it. Christy, just drop that straight down. Great thing about them, Christy, they're a surface bait, but they also sink. Now I'll try and bring the fish around closer to your lure. Actually, what you want to do is bring it in again, maybe, and actually cast it upstream. You can see how the tide's taking it back. So wind it in. That's it, stop, stop there. Now flick it up about 10 metres up towards the bow. I can't believe that that fish is just sitting there. Oh, snake, oh, look at the snake. snake. Jenny, look at the snake. Oh, I don't want to catch a snake. Oh. Wow, Jenny, isn't it amazing what you see on the sea? <laughs> A sea snake. Oh, there's another fish there. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's got it. Yes. No. Yes. 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 I want Mummy to bring one. Yeah, let's see if Mummy can catch one too. She's very clever, your Mummy. I'm just going to lift this fish up. You stay there, Jet. Yeah. Oh, there's a there. Oh, yeah. Stay there. Daddy, you can't spot Mummy. You are right, Dad? You are right? Just keep the rod tip around. Jenny, look at that. It's a golden trevally. I'm going to put him in the tank. Well, he's a bit big for the tank. Can you say golden trevally? Golden trevally. Yummy. Isn't he pretty? Yeah. See, he's got big fat lips. I ate him the dinner. <laughs> Look out there, there's a turtle. Oh wow, there is See a turtle. See the turtle out there? Yeah. See his head just poking up now? Yeah. Okay, Jetty, let's get the hook out. Watch your foot. Now I'm using single hooks in this lure today, particularly because I know I've got Jet on board and I'm a bit worried about having trebles. Great thing about these fish, they've got big fat rubber lips, Jet. And I have to say, Luke, Luke, your lure is working a treat. I'm so happy for you, mate, because I know you love making your lures. And this golden, I'm going to put you, let's put him back in and say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Touch it, you want to help, do you? And go. Oh, and away he goes. See you, mate. The diversity of the marine life here is unbelievable. We've seen um, huge manta rays, turtles, sea snakes, and for those who love fishing, oh my God. <laughs> I just can't believe how good the fishing is here, Christy. Oh, I am very excited and this is our first morning here um yeah how, how good is it you've switched this fish this beautiful golden off my golden and yeah. what we took five minutes to stuff around and do it yeah and that and that was part of the fun to be honest yep. wasn't it it was and that is a beautiful fish you would go a long way to catch a golden trevally like that how pretty is that fish and i just love golden trevally because you can handle them so well and he ate that little slider i'm just going to slip my thumb in there mate be kind to me. There you go. We've got a pair of bogus here. Oh, have you, darling? Yep. Bogan me up, please. Thank you. Ah. It's hard to grab his big rubbery lips. There we go. Now, I'll try and support his belly as he comes up because he's quite a big fish. Christy. Woohoo! I think we better go and show Jetty. He's pretty excited. Well, through the magic of television, we're going to get the hooks out of this fish. The little 120 slide has done the job well, hasn't it? I'm very stoked with that lure. <laughs> We're going to take this fish up the front and show our little boy. And that 
Dare I say it, darling, has got to be about as good as fishing gets. I'd say it's fairly close. And if there's any better, let's go find it. <laughs> I get emails every time the show goes to air, sometimes two, three, even 400. And one of the common questions I get asked or things that people say is, Paul, please don't keep the fish out of the water for too long. One thing you don't see is between takes, every time you see that beautiful close up of the fish, we will put the fish back in the water, swim it and get it out. Because for me, the most important thing is that that fish swims away. Unfortunately, things don't go according to plan. I held poor old Christy's fish over the side with the bogey rips, giving it a nice swim while we're getting everything ready. It gave a big kick and it disappeared. So I'm just going to have to pretend for now. This was Christie's beautiful fish, but at the end of the day, it's not too bad because the fish are some away, and that is the most important thing. Try and support the belly a bit, but it's getting pretty serious, that sort of fish. Up you go, mate. And there he goes. Look at that. Well, let me just say, when you come to the tropics, one thing you don't want to catch is a shark. But today, a shark has become our number one target, because Jet, what do you want to catch? Uh, hey, shark. A hammer shark, what else? Uh, a bull shark and a whale shark. A hammer shark, a bull shark and a whale shark? Yeah. Let's see if Daddy's got one, eh? Yeah. What do you reckon it is? Oh, come on. Oh, it's a boss, Jenny, it's a shark! <laughs> oh, Jenny, look! Look at it, it's a lemon shark, Jenny. It's a lemon shark. Hang on, no, I think it might be a bull shark, Jet. Yeah, it's a bull shark, it's a, it's a lemon bull shark. What? Let's have a good look at him, eh? Oh. How are we going to get him in the boat? We're not going to get him in the boat, he's too big. Oh! He's a big one, Jenny. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Jenny? Huh? Let me just say, we got you a bull shark, didn't we? A lemon bull shark. <laughs> are you pretty happy about that? I want Daddy doesn't. <laughs> He's too big. Now I tell you what, mate. We'll do the right thing by the sharky. We've had a good look. Say, say, love you, sharky. Love you, sharky. See you, Mr. Bull Shark. See you, Mr. Bull Shark. And now I think Daddy might let him go, hey? Okay. Daddy, let him go. Oh, just pull him around so you can see him. Oh, he's a aggressive little bull shark. Gee, jet these bull sharks fight hard, don't they? Did you want to have Daddy wind the last bit of the bull shark in? Okay, come here. That's a girl, and I'm going to get as close as I can. Jet, there's a turtle out here. Here he comes. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming there up. There you go, mate. There you go. Look at the turtle. Daddy. Look at the turtle looking at us. <laughs> Say bye bye, Sharky. Bye bye, Sharky. I got a question, Jetty. Yeah. Have you had a fun day? Yeah. What do you think of Eco Beach? We got a lemon bull shark. You know what? Yeah. I think they might have to put that one in uh, Fishes of Australia, the new lemon, lemon bull shark. Bull shark. <laughs> Christy, has this been a very Why cool day fishing? It's been an unbelievable shark. day fishing. The fact that we've been able to share it with Jet has been super special. Um, but I can highly recommend it for wives, husbands, fathers, children. Look at that. <laughs> We're just off the beach. We're not a long way away, and uh, there's two aspects to this. One is as a parent, and the other is as a very, very keen angler who's been all around the world. As a parent, you're only a kilometre offshore, so you can take the kids back in if things don't go according to plan. And as an angler, Christy, you'd struggle to see better fishing, wouldn't you? Oh, I'm pretty keen to get back out here, and I'm a bit spilled we don't have Nana here for the afternoon nap. <laughs> Nana, you're in big trouble when you get home. Thank you to all our friends at Eco Beach. Thank you to Kurt, the wonderful fishing guide. And Jet, let's go and see if we can catch another lemon bull shark, eh? Hey?